On this episode of Picker Road, we're thrifting here in Las Vegas, and later I'm going to show you the interesting history of an item that we picked. And then we're going to have breakfast for dinner. And as always, we're going to take you along for the adventure. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. It is a beautiful spring day here in Las Vegas, and I am at Goodwill. Let's go in and see what kind of goodies are on the shelves. Let's see. Okay. Got my cart. Let's start here on the first shelf in the hard goods. See what we can find. Ooh, they're kind of interesting. $5.99 each. Oh, look at these little bunnies. They are so sweet, $2.99. See if they have a name on them. I don't see a name. Aw, these little cottontail is chipped. Some sort of oriental art piece. Looks like it's kind of homemade. Let's see. I'm always looking for mid-century, modern, vintage, pretty things. This is like a little votive holder, but no markings. It's got frogs on it, but it's really very, very cheaply made and it's very light. Looks like somebody donated their entire collection of steins. Look at all of these. Now, none of them look to be antique, but there's some interesting themes. This one's a Nagano Olympics stein, and that's the Statue of Liberty back there. Okay, I looked these up, and the prices just aren't there. The Nagano Olympics sells for about $20, and they won 13 for it, so they're right on the money. Uh, what did you find? Up here, a little shoe. I know people collect little shoes. It's very fun. It looks to be in pretty good condition. And uh, it's a Manalo Blanket. And uh, I think it's fun. A little fun shoe. Let's put that in the card. And what is this box? Beeswax candles from the French market candle shop in New Orleans. Ooh. Oh, those are lovely. Now, I wouldn't ship something like this because I think they would melt, but they are so pretty. I would like to put them in the Picker Road Boutique to illustrate some candle holders. They're only $4.99. Let's get those. So that is some of your beeswax. That is some of my beeswax. <laughs> Mind your own beeswax. <laughs> okay, what do we have down here? I see some coasters. Only three. Not really enough to create a set. And some inexpensive little candle holders. Let's go around. Let's turn the corner and go around. Okay, so we seem to be in the Christmas section again. Let's just do a quick overview and see if we see any vintage Christmas or collectible Christmas. Then it would be worth putting away and holding on to. I'm not seeing anything. A particular note. Okay, so we have some baskets here. That's an attractive basket there. What's this purple piece back here? Oh, it's a nesting basket. Hmm. Unfortunately, it looks like it's coming apart a little bit. They went $3.99. Hmm. I wonder if I could fix that. It's kind of a nice little basket. It's got a nice weave to it and a nice look to it. And this one, they want $3.99 for the two of them. I don't know. I'm going to put that in the basket and think about it. I'm not 100% sold on the quality basket goes in the basket? The basket goes in the basket. We have a Triceratops. And what's this little box? 
Oh, isn't that pretty? Well, that's a very attractive box. Trying to see where that might have been made. It's ridges on it and it's painted on. They want five ninety nine for it. Mm, doesn't doesn't really have the quality that I would like, but it is attractive. Up here we have a little painted wood piece. Very damaged, unfortunately. But where is that from? Out of curiosity, it is from Ecuador. Not too bad that it's in such poor shape. Otherwise, that would be a lovely little trinket dish. So we're going to leave that. Let's look down here. Can't touch this. And what is this with the owl? Very, that is strange looking. He's it's, a hoot, but he's, not a high quality hoot. And he's not in focus. Hmm, okay. Let's leave that. In Jamaica. Let's see, best day ever. Who's in a manger? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh wait, that's an outhouse. Oh my goodness. That is so funny. What does it say? Golden Colorado. A little moose in an odd house. No price. Alright, let's leave the door shut and give him some privacy. Alright, we have a lot of signs. Let's see what we have. We have a photo frame. It's very heavy. Made in China. Let's leave that. Let's see, looking down here, lots of letters, lots of pretty letters, and we have, hmm, I left my heart in Paris. Not yet. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Okay, let's see what we have. We have some wood corn dishes made in the Philippines. I would like ceramic corn dishes better because you're going to get butter and all sorts of stuff on it. Okay, so we seem to be in the metal section and I'm just looking at the trays. Wow, this is attractive and heavy. No name. Let's see. Wow, looks like someone donated a lot of these. They've got someone's initials on them, though. And, oh, got a buffalo. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Lots of scratches. He's $7.99 and kind of in rough shape, but he's kind of cool, too. Let's see what we have here. A metal tray. Looks to be almost Indian or Persian. $12.99. Again, very scratched up. Look at these chairs. Those are fun. If you had dolls or stuffed animals that you display, those would be fun to pick up. Ooh, look at these candle holders. Candelabras. They're kind of fancy. That yellow color is so chic. In the right setting, those would be very nice. But there's holes, so it looks like it's missing some sort of hanging attribute of some sort. But I do like the yellow color. Okay, let's see what else we have. What's back here? What is this piece? Oh, it's, unfortunately, it's in pieces. And it's really not very high quality. Look for a minute like it might be interesting. And we still have the tins here. I don't see that they've added anything. And down here, this is very Hollywood Regency. Made in USA. Is anybody using these anymore? $4.99. Hmm. It's kind of attractive. If you have the right setting, if you have a Hollywood Regency type bathroom or boudoir, your night table that could be very attractive it appears to be in very good condition and because 
Even though it has a barcode, it is made in the USA from a boutique. So, it's $4.99. Let's put that in the cart. Okay, so now we're in the vase section. What is this here? This is interesting looking. Look at that. Hmm. Strange looking. $8.99. No name. I'm not familiar with that at all. Just very simple. Oh, here's a, a little toothpick holder. Very, very dirty. If this was in any color, oh, I would grab it so fast. But the clear ones just don't seem to do as well. And it's not in the greatest shape. Let's see what else do we have down here? Um, you have to scan so fast to try to see what everything is. Let's see what we have here. Very rough, roughly done. And of course, I am always looking for the glassy baby. What is this, William? That cartoon it's character? A frame. No, no, I know it's a frame. I mean, is that anybody? Looks like a superhero Viking girl. I'm not familiar That's with it. Not familiar with that, okay. All right, let's go down here and see what else we have. It's a pretty color right here. Let's see. Oh hand thrown piece but unfortunately it's got that huge chip on it we have something from the Westin Bonaventure LA's landmark hotel I don't think that's old oh that's interesting it's a record the record breaker uh -huh. and let's see we have this appears to be a hand-thrown artisan piece. It's not very great. Let's see what else we've got down here. We have a hobbyist piece, a cherub type person. And then we have a little Little vase there. Oh, it's got little beads and things in it. Oh, it's got little like stones. Hmm. Put those back in there carefully. And Okay, carrying on. Let's see what else we have. There. Little creamer from Portugal. Got a lot of creamers right now. And okay, let's turn the corner. I know we're gonna find something great. I know it. Here we go. We're in kind of the plastics section. I kind of always skim through this pretty fast because I don't really buy plastics very often. Another kind of little bread basket hard. Let's see what else. Just plastic, plastic. Isn't that the gal from Toy Story? Yes, it is. Jesse. Jesse. Very cute. What do we have down here? It's plastic and a bunny picture. Chipped up, unfortunately, but cute. We have a chip and dip down here. Very heavy. I think that's very modern also. What is this? This looks old. Eggshell Nautilus USA, $9.99. Let's see. 
Come on, treasures, reveal yourselves. You can do it. I have faith in you. That is in another language. It looks like it could be Thailand. Let's see. If I'm incorrect, please let me know. This looks like what I have in the Pick a Road Boutique right now, USA. It's McCoy. I have these already, so they don't seem to be selling very quickly right now. So I'm going to leave that. What do we have here? That's interesting. You have your your cup and your stir spoon for Florida, the Sunshine State. We were just there last year and really enjoyed, especially, um, was it near Orlando where the lemurs were that we yes. visited? That was wonderful. Okay, let's turn the corner. Let's take a quick look at the mugs and see what we see. Adventure photo tours. Mickey. Where'd you see Mickey? Right oh, there. right here. Holiday Mickey. Holiday Mickey. And then we have Soiree. Soiree. And we have Dalmatians. But it's kind of used looking. Hmm. Let's see down here. Seen anything of note in the mugs? What are these? There's a creamer and sugar. I see more Good. steins. Yes, they've migrated over to here. This is actually interesting. What An is it? Aviation stein. Now that's interesting. They're the same stein. One is red tag, five ninety nine. The other is blue tag, three ninety nine. I'm gonna get the blue tag one. Okay, so I'm continuing through the glasses. It's got a big chip or piece missing. What is this? Too bad it doesn't have its lid. It's a very pretty little bottle. Let's see we see the glasses down here. I'm looking primarily for colored glasses. Okay, continuing in the glassware, we have a little pitcher, a little cruet. You would need a second one to do olive oil and vinegar. Look at the size of this beer mug. Reminds me of when we were with Danny at the Hofbrau house just last week. Yeah. That was so much fun. It was. size of that. Ah, I can hardly lift it. Here's another little picture. I keep picking these up, looking at them. That's a little Christmas one. It's Royal Seasons Stoneware made in China. Leave that. That dish. It's opalescent. You can see right through it. These little unicorn salt and pepper shakers. Wow, they're kind of interesting. They don't have their little corks, and their little horns have the gold worn off. How much are they? Ninety-nine and ninety-nine. Wow, oh, they're kind of kind of cute. I don't. I haven't seen very many unicorn salt and pepper shakers. 
Just trying to see if there's any chips. Doesn't appear to be any chips, just some paint wear. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get them. Somebody might really like them because they collect unicorns and I don't see very many unicorn salt and pepper shakers. So I'm gonna go for those. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? We're gonna buy these. Now these are nice corn dishes. Little chip there. Those are, are nice. If you're going to use corn dishes, those would be the kind. Let's see what else we have. We have a heart redware dish. Cooking. Let's see. We have the fish dish. Look at that color. Oh, it's plastic. It fooled me. Let's see down there. Don't see too much down there. It's missing its lid. Here. Trying to look to the back. And what is this? Looks like a card holder. Princess house. Lead crystal. Like a little card holder. Oh, it's got a chip. Darn, a big chip too. Looks like somebody donated their salt and pepper collection. Alaska. And they traveled, it looks like. What are these? Little candle holders. Unfortunately, terribly chipped up. We have little turkey salt and pepper shakers and they have shedded their salt. Right, I'm going to leave those. Turkeys are pretty common to find. Okay, now we're into the metal wares. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Thank you, James. Good to see you. I think everybody's going to think we're obsessed with James Bond. I kind of am. And we are. Little spoons in here. And, oh, look at that. Those are birds. Love birds. Too bad there's some, like, glazed chips. I don't like the way that looks. Leave that have a kitchen heavy trivet and what is this oh boy is that heavy for making little snowmen very very heavy way too heavy to ship oh moo let's see what else we have if you have small plants you have a small watering can. It's a bonsai watering <laughs> can. Okay, we're in the art section now. And there's lots and lots of contemporary prints. Always looking for something that is vintage. It's contemporary. That's basically they're just selling the frame. Harry Potter. Let's see what we have. Marilyn. Marilyn. Looks like there's an older frame back there. It's just a print, of course. Norman Rockwell's famous self-portrait. Mm -hmm. They want 25 for that. Look at this interesting frame. It's a very inexpensive print in it, but that's quite an interesting frame. Then we have some mirrors. Hi, everybody. And we have, this looks like an original painting. It's stretched canvas. You know what that is? It's printed on canvas. It's not painted. Of bighorn sheep. Why don't they feel sheepish about putting that out? Oh, that's so bad. Dun, dun, dun. Too early for those kinds of jokes. And in here we just have some miscellaneous, nothing to dig for, I don't think. Okay, I found my way over to the purse section. 
gonna take a quick peruse and see if we can find anything. Jan Sport is always a good backpack, but that's a little worn looking. A little worn. Let's keep going over here and see. What is this one? This is a lever oak. Hmm. Not too familiar with it. Not familiar at all, actually, with that name. Let's see what do they want for it. They want $14.99. It's not of a very high quality. And we have a little evening purse. Kind of very used looking. What's this? Some of these purses, if they're a really good quality leather, a buttery leather, soft suede, whatever, then they can be worth picking up even if they're used. Because a lot of people are going for kind of that 70s retro or boho look. This is very light. It's like feather light. What do we have in here? The good thing is it looks like it's brand new. It doesn't have a maker, but it's so light. Hmm. What do they want for this? I get it off of there. <laughs> there. Um, they went $6.99 for that. I don't know. That's kind of attractive. Even though it's very, very light. Something about that that's with the right outfit. And animal prints are very popular. I think we're going to go ahead and get that. And then right behind it was this very pretty little evening bag. It appears to have all of its stones. That one's just darker. Let's open it up and see how it looks. Oh, it's nice and clean. It went $6.99 for that one. It's very attractive. A little evening bag. Let's get that. And let's keep going here. That looks like leather. Looking for the names. Looking for the name brands. Here's a Liz Claiborne. Well, they went $19.99 for that one. What is this? It's a little too worn. No name. What is this one? Let's see what the name is. That's no name either. And they want $14.99 for that one. What is this? Feels pretty soft. TD. Or L, excuse me, LD. Hmm. Can't think of who that is. I'm sure everyone's yelling at the screen saying, that is... Look at this piece. It's a faux alligator. And that is... It looks older, actually. What is the name on that? Vachi? Not Versace. And let's see. This looks like it might be a Betsy Johnson, maybe? No. Um, no the other one. Juicy Couture? Juicy, do you see Juicy Couture? No, I'm saying the other one. Um, I'm trying, no, the other. I thought I saw a tag on the side there. Inside? Inside? Maybe I'm wrong. Right there? Right there? What is it? Called? There's a little tag somewhere in there. I can't reach it. Just made in China. Made in China. I think it's just a kind of a knockoff. Yves Saint Laurent? Well, it's trying. It, it wishes it was. It's Victoria's Secret. Ah. Victoria's Secret. Oh, too bad it's too bad it's so dirty. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Sometimes I have a hard time going through bags if they are not pristine because I'm kind of fussy. Okay. I don't think we see anything else here. So I think it's time to check out, Will. So this is a piece 
that I got at an estate sale that we were at with Danny a couple of months ago. And it's just got such a fascinating history that I really want to share with everyone. This is a land deed from 1834 for a country called Poiesia. Now, you may have never heard of the country of Poiesia because it doesn't actually exist. So in the 1830s, a Scottish soldier named Gregor MacGregor went to South America and he put together this scheme that he was going to go back to England and he was going to tell people that he was crowned the king of Poiesia and that he had been granted millions of acres of land to sell to the people of Great Britain. So he created these land deeds, the Poiesian land grant. This one right here is for 500 acres of land. So he went around to the nobility and he sold them these grants telling them that Poiesia was this lush land with an industry and gold and silver and all this potential. So he sold these out. He made a fortune, became absolutely rich. People who bought this ended up contracting a boat to take them to South America. And when they got there, they found it was all dense jungle and swampland. So the authorities track this guy down and he actually escapes to Paris with all the money. He goes and does it again a few years later. Eventually, he had to flee to South America himself. So this deed for 500 acres, it's in relatively good condition considering it's almost 200 years old. I paid $25 for it at the estate sale. The last recorded sale of one of these, it sold for over 1,500 pounds. That's over 2,000 US dollars. So this was a really interesting find and more than money, I think the story behind it is just so fascinating. So thank you so much for watching and let's go grab a bite to eat. On this truly pleasant spring evening, we're having dinner at the Desert Shores Lakes in Summerlin. There are several restaurants here, and one of our favorites is the Village Pub. Open 24 hours, you can get a delicious steak and eggs breakfast for only $10. It's not only a deal, but it's also absolutely delicious. While we enjoy our breakfast for dinner, let's recap today's finds. had a great time thrifting and we had a terrific breakfast for dinner please like subscribe and ring the bell it's absolutely free and it will really help us grow our channel and we want everyone to join the journey